Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the VLOOKUP function to automate tedious looking up tasks in your spreadsheet. Let's just assume that I have oh, let's just assume that I have a, uh, um, a a list of people's last names that has been given to me. Actually a list of, uh, of ID numbers for people. And uh, they're you know, one, two, four, five, seven, seven. And then I want to be able to put their last name in this column right here. At the same time, I've been given a, a, a number of lists here which tell me everybody's ID number. And then their last name is right here. This Jones, uh, Abe's, uh, Ramirez, uh, Johnson, uh, um, uh, Sanders, uh, Ramos, uh, Morrison, uh, Wilcox, and Ferraro. Okay, and the task is to be able to look up this value here in this table pull off the appropriate name and then put it in the last name column. So to do that I'm going to automate this using what's called a VLOOKUP function. Let's just also say that in this table there's other information about this person such as their uh, specialty, no their degree, okay? Uh, MBA, uh, BA, Psych, um, uh, a science degree, an arts degree, a music degree, another MBA, um, another a BA, uh, a PhD, um, and a uh, science degree, and another arts degree. And in here is also their income. And just make up some numbers. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to automate this process by going into this list of ID numbers that has been generated somewhere and look up their last name and also their income and put it in this column right here. This doesn't have to be this way, but I'm going to make it look neat by having all those columns there. To start off with, you have to know what this is. This right here is called the lookup table or the table array is another name for it. This is the lookup value. I want this the computer to go into here, find one, pick off Smith in 20,000, and then automatically put it right here. So to do that, I need to use the lookup function. And first thing, this table must be sorted in ascending order. Now it is because of the way I had written it. But if it was in a kind of a random order, I would have to sort it so it was in ascending order of the lookup column. And then I go in here and I use the VLOOKUP function. And the lookup value is the 1 that I have. I'm trying to associate with the appropriate information in this table. The table array is this information here. And after you select it, you want to make it absolute, meaning when I copy this formula, it always goes back to this location. It doesn't keep moving it downwards. So to do that, I press the F4 button right over here. And watch what it does. See how I put dollar signs around it? And then the column index number is the number of, that has the value I want in this table. This is column 1, this is column 2, this is column 3, and this is column 4. In this case, I'm trying to look up their last name, so I put the column to index number as 2. Right there. See the 2 up there? And then the last thing I do is I tell it whether or not I'll allow, uh, whether the, 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 there has to be an exact match in the table. So if it can't find 1 in this table, then it will say error. If I say uh, approximate match, if it, if say I'm looking for three, if it can't five, find three, it'll take the lowest closest value, which is two, and give me the information associated with that. Now in this case, we don't want that. If we can't find, you know, item four in this table, Ramirez, we don't want it to give us Abe's information. So this means the it must be an exact match. So it must be false. And then. Um, 
Oops. Yeah. It's false. So I press enter and see what it did? It went into one. It looked up Smith. And now what I can do is I can just copy this and you can see how it pulled off. Okay, two is Jones, four was Ramirez, five was Johnson, and seven was Ramos. And it pulled it off perfectly. So now I would do the same thing here as well. I'd use the VLOOKUP function. And the lookup value is again one. The table array is still this whole table right here. And I have to press the F4 button to make it so it doesn't move when I copy the formula. And then the column index number is going to be, because I want income, this is column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4. So I'll take that. And again, I want it, I want it to be an exact match, right? So I'm going to go false with that. Press enter, and that's what it did. It went in, it found ID number 1, it found that it was Smith, and then it pulled off the value in column index number four. One, two, three, four. Twenty thousand, and I put it there. And then I copy it all the way down like that. And you can see we can do a check. Let's look up Johnson. Five. It went over here, it found Johnson, and then read his his income, which was at fifty thousand. And then I've just in one formula, copying it down, I've looked up everybody. So you have to have a table array often coming from some kind of database and then you have to have your operational data that you want to match up with the appropriate information in this table. Use the VLOOKUP function and you're done in a matter of seconds.